Hello everybody. Today I want to show you how do we export data from our ERD into an actual database. So let's take a real quick look at how we're going to do that. Over here I have my ERD that I've created over the last several videos. You can see that I have all of my information listed. Not only my entity and field names, but also any keys as well as data types. And this is very important if I actually want to export this out to an actual database. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one entity. I'm going to choose people first because it's probably one of my more simple entities. And over on my right hand column, you notice I have export ERD. So I'm going to select that. You notice I can choose between a couple of different types of databases. So MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQL Server, Oracle SQL, as well as QuickBase. So I can kind of just click through these and see how they're similar and different. QuickBase is definitely the most different compared to all my others. I'm going to come back here to MySQL real quick. And you'll notice that this creates how I want to work. But there are a few little tweaks I might have to make. So my create table and people, that's fine. All my field names with my data types, those are fine. My primary key is fine, although I would probably want to add the fact that I want it to be an auto number in there. But you do notice that I have key and then it gave it a name of unique. It did not create a unique value. So this is a different type of way of handling it. I probably would want to make a quick change just to say something like, unique like that okay so just a real quick thing i can copy this to my clipboard and then paste it into any type of interface i might have whether it's command line or a graphical interface maybe just into a larger text file that i can then import everything into at one time so i click done here i'm going to choose orders orders is a little bit more complicated and notice it still comes up and says create table orders. It gives me my information for my primary key, the order ID. However, my FK, my foreign key, is not listed in here. So if I want to index that, which I am going to want to, I'll need to make sure I know to go in and add that. If I come over here and look at my different data types, you notice that there's nothing changing between my different databases as well as MySQL. So this isn't a MySQL limitation. This is just something that's not being done inside of Lucid App. Always want to be aware of my limitations or tools I use. Know how to use my tools to get the best out of them. If I look at something like product orders, which remember is an in-between table that allows us to have a many-to-many -many relationship between our products and our orders, You'll notice here that instead of it having two foreign keys that need to be separately indexed, as well as two different fields that act as a single primary key, you'll notice that it creates a separate type of composite key. And so I want to go in there and change that from key to be a primary key, once again, just so I have that select. Now you might be asking, well, wait, can I say, hey, I'm going to select multiple entities at one time and export them all out. And you'll notice that the answer is no. It takes the first one we've selected, only lets us export that one. Okay, so we're not gonna, we have to do these one by one, at least with the free version of Lucid App. Now you might be able to do a little bit more with some of the paid versions. I'm not familiar. I'm using a free version since that's what most of my students are gonna be using. And if this is something you're going to be doing a lot of, you might think, well, wait a second, this might be something worth paying for. And so that's one of the reasons why you sometimes want to go to a paid tier for apps like this. So just kind of keep that in back of your mind, if you would, when you're thinking about it. It's a great way to know how to use these tools and figure out how do they make me faster and more efficient. If they're making you faster and more efficient, then it's definitely worth paying for the extra features you get involved. I know in my personal life, my professional life, there's a lot of tools that I have paid for that is simply there to make my life go faster and easier. This is a perfect example that you might find. 
Once you export these out individually, you do any little tweaks that you might need to do. You can then look at going in, importing them into your database, and your database is created. But this gives you a nice visual way of creating a database, making sure your logic works out all together the way it's supposed to. You have all your keys set up. Everything's done properly. You can get sign off from other people as necessary and then create the database very easily by simply exporting. Hopefully you found this series helpful. If so, look out for some of our other series on creating databases that we have on this channel.